Aaron Davis, thanks for joining us on USTA.com. You got onto the Australian Open on the USTA's wild card. Um, you must have been very excited about that. One, getting the wild card, and, and two, playing uh, your first main draw Grand Slam. Um, I mean, when I won the wild card tournament, I was just so happy. I mean, winning, being able to be playing, going to Australia and playing the Australian Open main draw was, I knew it was going to be an awesome experience for me. And I was just really happy. What were you expecting? Um, I expected to do well, even when I um, got my draw, saw my draw when I played Stoser. I thought I could do well. I always believed in myself, and but I mean, Sam played a really good match, and I was a bit nervous, but I mean, I give credit to her. Well, you played, as you're saying, Sam Stoser. Unfortunately, the match didn't go your way, but. Tell us about the experience of playing one of the world's best women and also playing on one of the showpiece center courts of the world, the Rod Laver Arena. It was a real honor to play Sam Stoser on Rod Laver Arena on TV with everybody watching. I mean, I've never been through an experience like that and it was just awesome for me. Um, even though I lost, I came off the court much stronger and with, I mean, with a whole new outlook on what to do and stuff. And I think I'm not going to try to get down on myself. I think I have a lot ahead of me. Was it overwhelming? Or was it was it overwhelming or was it more a case of nerves out there? Um, I think it was both. I mean, just, I mean, everything was overwhelming, but it was also really exciting for me. And I was nervous, of course. I mean, it's my first Grand Slam against Sam Stoser on center court. But um, I think I could have handled the nerves a bit better but I mean I think I'll do better next time. What would you do the next time? Um, well I guess I, you've now got this under your belt. Yeah. You know what to expect. Yes. Um, I don't think I'll be as nervous. Um, I'll have a bit more experience under my belt <laughs> and I, I think I'll just play my game and prepare well and just go out there and try to win. Now You've decided that you this is your the life that you want to be a professional tennis player, but wasn't that long ago that you actually decided on this? Yes. Um, I mean, I've been doing very well. Um, this is the first match I've lost in like four months, so I mean, I'm not going to let it get me down. But um, I'm just going to keep plugging away and try to win juniors and just do the best as I can and move on with my pro career. Tell me how long ago it was you decided to be a pro. About a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all come in a rush, hasn't it? Yes, it has. I mean, I just, the last tournament I won was wild card, and I knew then that I wanted to turn pro. Well, what made you decide that? What, what gave you that feeling? Just, um, I mean, the feeling I had when I, when I won. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it felt so good. And I don't know, my like, heart was bursting out of my chest, and I just knew it right then. <laughs> that passion. Yeah. And your first trip to Australia, mm -hmm. how are you enjoying it here? I, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I love the city of Melbourne. It's very, very nice. And everybody is so incredibly friendly. I'm looking forward to coming back next year. Okay, that's great. But things are not finished for you here. This year's Australian Open, you've still got juniors. Yes. Um, juniors are next week, and I think I'll be the third seed. So, I mean, I don't have anything to lose there either. So I'm going to just go out and play. Lauren Davis, thank you so much for your time. Bad luck today. Good luck in the juniors. Thank you.